Hello friends, uh, welcome to Data Pandit. So today we are going to solve one more uh, scenario based question, interview question. It's simple. Um, probably uh, most of the most of you uh, know it already, but still, I mean, uh, let's uh, discuss it. So uh, the scenario is like uh, there is a data set. Okay, ID, name, transaction amount, and address. So the uh, that idea is simple. We have the sorted or probably the unsorted kind of data depending upon the ID based on ID. So the key is going to be the ID, and we would be asked to uh, uh, give the maximum transaction amount for a particular, you know, ID or, or let's say customer ID or employee ID or whatever. Uh, for in this instance, because we have a transaction amount, so it is a it is a transaction ID. Let's say, okay. So T transaction ID. Let's say it is a pipe delimited data, and this kind of we have an address field, and we we have a name field, and all, or you know, whatever could be the you know. So the idea is like um, what can be used to do that. So we have a rollup function. key based processing it is asking the group based processing if so data is not sorted you can uh, do the sorting beforehand or you can probably specify that uh, data is not sorted so that uh, roll up can utilize the max core and do the sorting and all so the first question could be find the maximum transaction amount of a customer id roll up right so we we have an id or let's say custom transaction id or a customer id and then we can do the we have a key and we have a roll up function and we have a max function we can go give the out of transaction amount maximum transaction amount so nothing uh, much actually so you know that we have a you know group based uh, aggregated function right some count max min right and accumulation function if you want to generate the vector output right and uh, this is the you know template mode of roll up processing so wherein uh, there there won't be any other uh, functions right we we don't we don't have much control on the processing of the roll up in template mode but uh, in another video we are going to see the expanded mode of roll up roll up wherein we will have a um, you know we can manipulate the processing of the roll up right so basic underlying processing is going to be the group based only but uh, the the internal processing how it can calculate and how we can navigate the uh, uh, navigate the and uh, can preserve the data within the group uh, you know that we can do in expanded or roll up so we are going to see that that thing in another another video so uh, the second part of this question is like uh, uh, like it's an it's an easy one but uh, to to confuse you i mean uh, uh, interviewer can ask like will roll up make sure that the output of the value of the remaining fields would be you know name and address right so we know that we are uh, we are just you know coding the transaction amount and we are we our key is transaction id and key is same for group and we have a transaction amount but what about these other fields you know so what we can you know confuse you like will the roll up make sure that in the output of the value of the remaining fields like name and address will exactly be the same meaning whether ghi and a4 will be printed or any other value will be printed efg or a2 like you know that's what he is kind of interested in for id1 will i get the name as ghi and address as a4 that's the question so it's an easy one but just to confuse uh, you know so you may uh, probe you can you know probe further you uh, you know based on that but yeah but because it is a maximum amount and it is in it is for uh, the fourth record therefore gh and a4 is going to be printed or going to be outputted right so with that we have uh, uh, you know ended this uh, template mode of uh, roll up uh, we'll see uh, the expanded mode uh, on other day so okay thank you so much